Well, folks, today we're hearing about PlayStation 6. We're also hearing that Xbox is going woke. We're also hearing that Hogwarts Legacy voice actor actually apologized. Bruh. We got a lot of disasters to go over tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Fasten your seat belts, get them copium shots, do not grow nest cook in the backyard, but love your loved ones, okay? And drop a thumbs up, don't chase a pom pom, chase your dreams. And ladies and gentlemen, coming in at our number 12 spot, our first story. You might wanna sit down for this one, roll it. But we understand what this is. It's not that it's actually gonna offset emissions, okay? The level of reduction is infinitesimal, but they're trying to recruit your kids into climate politics at an earlier age. Make them climate conscious now. Yeah, I didn't but think of that, you're right. They're the, going after the children. Of course they are, but again, what's- Bruh. And quickly after people started dropping DDTs, the climate, no pun intended, the climate around the streets is wild. People are going in gang gang style. We got the Sony ponies laughing, we got the Sony ponies engaging around there, but the Xbox are out there with their pitch and forks ready to take over the world, ready to conquer the world. And ladies and gentlemen, man said, they are trying to make your children climate conscious. Like, that's a bad thing. Uh, bro, this is a terrible look for Fox News, Lamel. Or maybe, just maybe people want options to save on energy bills, especially in parts of the world where electricity prices are skyrocketing. Leave the kids alone. Wait, what's my blood uh, waffling about? <laughs> and if you perhaps really thought that that was it, that was kind of like the only wild thing about gaming, ladies and gentlemen, Roll this clip right now. JK Rowling has established herself oh, as one of the most prominent anti-trans mouthpieces on the planet. The Ow. character creator, and that cannot change the fact that the author of these books remains the proprietor of the Harry Potter intellectual property. If purchasing this video game feels like a tacit endorsement of Rowling's retrograde worldview, nobody can say you're wrong. Perhaps these are the themes Hogwarts Legacy intends to deal with. How did Crucio become unforgivable anyways? Some of the finishing moves equipped by character were similarly macabre. After char- <laughs> Two out of ten IGN, but ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't stop there. You, you, you wanna know what happened, right? Let's go for three likes for this one, ladies and gentlemen, because Sebastian Croft, uh, e -e 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 -e. Sebastian Croft apologized for hurting anyone by voicing male main character in Hogwarts Legacy claims there is no LGB without the T. He says I was in this project over three years ago back when all Harry Potter was to me was the magical world I grew up in. This was long before I was aware of JK Rowling's views. <laughs> I believe wholeheartedly that trans women are women and trans men are men. Ladies and gentlemen, clap it up for this one. That's it. We got the voice actor himself apologizing. Three years, three years. Took all the money for working on that, made the cheddar, made the bread, did helicopters with his willy. Allegedly, he probably would have done it. Let's keep a buck fifty. And now uh, he's apologizing. That's very strong. Very, very independent. Wow. Yay! Also, real quick, there was a man who got arrested for training his dog to throw bricks at people, ringing his doorbell. And if you happen to be the guy that was under Underneath, you need Morgan and Morgan. If you're ever injured or you know someone who's injured and you do not know where to start, Morgan and Morgan is easy. When you're injured in an accident, hiring an attorney is one of the first things you should do. And with Morgan and Morgan, submitting a claim is super easy. More than 3 million people have trusted Morgan and Morgan when they were injured in an accident. And the best part is that they do not charge you unless they win the kiss for you. Huh. If you're ever injured in a car accident or at your workplace, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in eight clicks or less without having to leave your couch. That's right, for more information, you can check out forthepeople.com or dial pound law. That's five to nine on your cell phone, or you can check out the top pinned comment below as well. Also, Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer ended up getting some updates for the season two, and it is the audio updates, the crazy time. Weapon balancing, hardcore replaces tier one. We got the playlist update and then we got the rank play and uh, you, you wanna know what happened ladies and gentlemen You're probably not gonna be able to compute this one so I'll give you a warning real quick The homie Zach, okay, uh, the season 2 changes for Warzone and Modern Warfare 2 looks incredible Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm shaking, oh, I'm shaking. I'm shaking. We barely got any content in this game and nothing against Zach The homie's making like really good videos out there and that's perfectly fine He If he's loving it, that's Perfectly fine. If you're liking Modern Warfare 2, that's perfectly fine, okay? But I mean, damn, man, can a brother get at least one new web? One new web? One new web? We're talking about a multi-billion dollar company, and people always say, man, do not bully the multi-billion dollar company. And we got two types of people, okay? We, we got Carnage, uh, who's immortal. We also got J-God. We got Equalized Press. So you know all the Call of Duty shows that <laughs> gets actually saying that. 
basically the the real gamers are actually loving it and all the toxic and problematic youtubers the gamers like me and you guys right i mean we got nero cinema says that infinity war let the fans down big time Bruh. season two changes for warzone and modern warfare 2 looks incredible oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you cannot make this up. We're barely getting any content, and you, um, uh, we're bit. <sighs> Also in the news, Case Senate has been banned on Twitch. People speculating it has something to do with him having too much uh, uh, hey, on on stream. Unsure as of now, so a lot of people are assuming that he did the nest quick. He grew the nest quick in the backyard, took that, took that out, and started getting those puff puffs in. Started going in ganging style. Started being strong and independent. But you know he's a man, right? And you, uh, you guys already know. If you're a man, you are wrong. So is he? He's a man. He's wrong. I personally am brown and. He's black, and if you're black or brown, you get thrown in another dimension. We're not even sure when this homie's gonna be back, okay? So they clipped his nuts. Man was buka killed. And obviously, if you're strong and independent, only you get the chance to come back after three days. You know, three days. But if you're not strong and independent, ladies and gentlemen, they get you. And they seriously, they, they got him. They got him. The popo, the twitch, uh, they got him. And for this topic, you might wanna, you might wanna crack your knuckles. Uh, there it is. We got the Sony ponies violin. We got the Xbox violin. And you obviously know you cannot stop the Sony ponies. You cannot stop the bots from fighting against each other. No matter if there's a chick in front of them looking like a snake, they will fight till the end. But you gotta respect it, right? At least they're more loyal to the plastics compared to all those twats but the u.s federal trade commission reportedly filed a lawsuit attempting to block microsoft from acquiring activision blizzard in an attempt to dissuade uh kind of uh, how do you pronounce it dissuade dissuade in an attempt to dissuade eu regulators from accepting a settlement Bruh. allowing the deal and they quickly after rook charlie until came out started saying that rooters and uh, shout out to the homie mystery for adding me in the situation because rooters is reporting that sony's jim ryan met with the european union regulators this week to talk about Microsoft acquisition of Activision Blizzard <laughs> because details on the conversations were not disclosed ladies and gentlemen they are not gonna reveal what they said and we're not sure what Jim Ryan said all we know here is that he took the Sony Pony Airlines he went down to Brussels the FTC basically they filed in a lawsuit officially this time because for the longest amount of time for a solid year okay for one year straight we have been hearing that the FTC is gonna try and block they're, they're gonna try and block they're gonna try and Block, they're gonna try and block and looks like that they're finally trying to block will this actually go through one in the chat if your team ftc two in the chat if your team xbot okay i, I want to see where you at apparently hi-fi rush is a brand new game for the xbox game pass a lot of people are in fact loving this one i personally am not into anime style games but a lot of people are saying it's actually good we got the homie pio he's mr sony ponies he posts a lot of sony pony news okay uh, i love this man okay not because uh, he follows me i will love you too if you follow me too but y y you're not doing that so get more more okay <gasps> But that's my Twitter. Make the best decision of your life right now. Right now. What? But the homie says that it reminds me of a classic PlayStation 2 era game. I mean, do not let the Xbox find this one out. This man knows what's good, okay? Because seriously, if the Xbox find this one out, they're gonna be ripping a new soul on you, my guy. Even young, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi-Fi Rush surprise launch has gotta be one of the biggest my drops from a gaming event in recent memory oh my god but the last was dlc featuring ali's moms almost happened wait what apparently the situation here's that naughty dog co-president neil Druckmann has revealed that the studio was once considering the last was dlc featuring ellie's mom strong independent need no man i'm just kind of effing around she probably wasn't that strong and independent but or maybe she was i don't know i don't want to get canceled maybe she was strong and independent i'm telling y'all man the west is going down fast okay <laughs> But focus! Keeping on gaming news, apparently the DLC almost happened, but then things fell apart. Basically, at one point, they were looking to launch that DLC, but then things happened behind the scenes. Maybe Neil Druckmann fell in love with the Brock Lesnar, uh, Abby the Brock Lesnar character. That's on you, you know, The Last of Us 2. If you had Abby the Brock Lesnar in that, and you know what? He probably thought that let's have a strong and independent Brock Lesnar, Abby Lesnar, uh, Ab Abby. Uh, what's, what's our final? Listen, man, I don't know Abby's last name, so we're gonna go with Abby Lesnar.
But apparently, speaking to Variety, Druckmann has said that he is excited for Ellie's mom, Anna, to show up in HBO. Anna, okay, okay. Uh, Anna to show up in HBO, The Last of Us uh, TV series, later on in the season. Original Ellie actor Ashley Johnson will portray Anna. Okay, okay, okay. And coming in at our number two, ladies and gentlemen, get ready to sell a kidney or two, because god damn it, we already are talking about... Sony is reportedly prioritizing PlayStation 6 over a PS5 Pro. Now I feel like that's kind of good. I, I want to know your thoughts. Uh, do you think that they should drop a PlayStation 5 Pro? Do you think they should just straight up go towards a PlayStation 6 in a couple of years from now? Because Sony did officially reveal that we're not going to be getting a PlayStation 6 before 2027. So we, we still got a couple of years. But if we get a PS5 Pro, that's likely going to be in a year or two years from now. Maybe three years, but that's going to be pushing it. I surely did cover what Tom Henderson said the other day regarding the PS5. Pro and the PlayStation 6 and now more and more people are talking about it but we ended up getting some really good Hogwarts Legacy gameplay and we have that 2 out of 10 IGN review in this one if you don't believe me click on this video on the screen and certainly do not click the video on the left don't do that just click on the video on the right and I will see you right there